Hello, again, second recording. Um, we have an uh, update to the preset fader family, some smaller, more performance-wise updates for the core engine and for the dashboard and some additions for the queue list and also a new member of the family, the Qlist Progressor. So let's go from left to right. Mm. Here we have the preset fader, which is now no longer a dat, but actually a list, so it's easier to use. So when we add a parameter, you see now, okay, which operator it belongs to, which parameter it is actually. And uh, we also now can change the type uh, of the preset. So we can set it to fade, we can set it to end snap and to start snap. So um, what start snap is doing is in the beginning of the recall, we just instantly go to the wanted value and uh, fade will fade linearly in the time and end snap will just a snap to the wanted value after the recall. So let's maybe have like three values R, G, and B in our stack. So we set the red to fade, we set the green to end snap, and we set the color uh, blue to start snap. So let's my preset, let's store this one and now set it to the opposite set it to zero and let's call it my preset two so now we store and now if we recall in one second you see how the first one fades the second one jumps immediately and the third one uh, the other way around but you know what i'm getting to so let's clear the stack or maybe put in the color for later purposes. Um, yeah, you can remove single uh, parameters just using the X and uh, that's most of it for now. So let's have a look at the dashboard. The dashboard now is uh, also run on a list so the performance is greatly improved. Let's have a look. So uh, all the buttons stay the same. We can record a preset and it will just give it a UUID as a name for now at the beginning. If you want to rename them, you just change, uh, change the label mode, press it, and now we already are in focus. So we can label it test and now if we press enter. Uh, it will be renamed. So let's maybe change the color to something red. Let's say record and let's say label and call this one pink. Press enter and now if we change back to recall mode, we can like call for test and call for pink. Now we can delete it. That's it for the dashboard loads way faster now and uh, yeah so the queue list got uh, also some new additions if we have a look here and we now can like record a queue i don't know if it already was in the last situation and we call this one pink and now let's create another one it's yellow record queue and that's always one yellow. So what we can do now is you have two buttons. You have the go and also a select button. So we select it will get this yellow outline and now when I press go it will automatically go to the next selected queue and it will automatically also select the next one. You can also change the behavior of the queue list uh, for now it's set to end so when I go to end it will go to the last queue and it will just end but when I set it to loop it will loop through the playlist so let's 
quite useful. And also there is now this Qless progressor, which you can use to automatically fire <coughs> the go for the queue list. Uh, you define the queue list here in this parameter. So if you have several queue lists, you can just have several of this progressor so you are not bound to one. And uh, you have different modes. You have the time mode where you can define a time in uh, seconds. So if we set it to one second, it will do it every second. If you set it to like 10 seconds, it will progress every 10 seconds. And if you go to BPM mode, you can just uh, change the BPM. So let's set it to 120. And with BPM times, you can change the exponent like uh, it's like one beat, uh, half the time of the beats, and every four beats, and two times as fast, and four times as fast. And now if we set it to active, you can see how we go through our values here. So that's it for the update. And uh, see you next time around for the next update.